Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last lecture, I have shown you how to design this equipment page and how to save and reset these buttons and how this will work. The backend coding I have already shown you in the, my previous video. Today, I'm going to show you how to click on this view equipment and how to how this new pop-up window will come and how the data is shown from the database. Okay, so let me show you how, what I'm going to show you today. So let's start it. This is a, actually a complete project and my admin username and password is admin admin. Just click on login and just click on equipment. Just click on this. And I'm going to show you today how this is coming up. Okay. So if you have not watched my previous video, just go and watch my previous video. Just check out my playlist. Okay. So I'm just starting it. Uh, okay. So this is here we go with. So first we need one form. Okay, so just right click on right click on your project and click on add. So actually it's running, that's why it's not showing. So just right click on this, add, and I need new window form. That window form, let me just name view equipment and just add it. And here we go. So size of this will be same. Of the previous one just copy the size and just go to just click on this view equipment and just here hit enter now it's large enough like the same as the previous one and i want that when i click on the view button of this here it needs to be visible so for that just double click on this to generate a click event and just write code view equipment ve is equals new view equipment we are creating an object of that form that is this one this is empty right now but ve dot show so now let me just show you what i have did now when you click on this equipment and when you click on this here you can see this view equipment form is coming up but it's not in the center let me just set it in the center so just click on this view equipment design, just click on this form and go to properties and search for start position. Here you can see, just set it to the center. Okay, so now let me just execute and see if it's coming in the center or not. Just click on this and now it's coming in the center. Okay, so now I want few things. First, logo. Let me just close this and here we go. So first thing I need is logo. Just let me copy and paste it. Here. and after that I need to set the background okay so just right click on this properties and search for back image background image here you can see this here you can see this three dots just click on that and here you can see this type of pop-up will come and select local resources click on import and select the image so which image I have selected in the projectors let me just see so I have selected which one let me select any image so view equipment where it is okay I'm not finding able to find it let me just select this one okay so here we go so in this I need a data grid view that is let me just drag and drop it here data grid view and just drag it And make it large or full size of the screen. Let me just make it large. And I, what I want is when I just click on this view button, I want that when this form loads, it loads with the data filled into this data grid view. So we have to write code on this form load event. To generate a form load event, you just need to click on this form, double click on this to generate a form load event. Here we have a form load event. Okay. So in this, we have to first make the SQL connection. That is, let me just copy a few lines of code from the previous. Here you can see this. Now here, just let me copy this. Okay, so I'm copying this much of code. So you just need to pause the video and write this. So this is showing error because I'm not importing a, imported a package. So I'm just importing this SQL data.sql client data.sql client okay so now it's showing nothing error in this i'm using the database gem i've shown you previously and after that now connection is made 
So we need to execute the query that is command text is equals select star from database. So database name is equipment. Sorry, table name is equipment. So let me just copy this name and let me just paste it here the equipment and just double quotes and close it. So now we have this query but now after the execution we need something in which data needs to be stored so where I want to store just need to store for that we need to create an SQL adapter let me just type it SQL data adapter and DA equals new SQL data adapter and in this pass the CMD that is command and after that I need a data set. Data set is which in which you can store the data. Okay, so data data set. Okay, here we go. Now just name is ds it's equals new data set. And after that da from the data adapter dot fill ds. Okay. And now just let me show you what actually data is in this, how the data is stored in this data set. Let me just take a variable entire equals zero. And I have taken this just to put a breakpoint. So let me start this project. I will show you how actually uh, data is stored in this data set. When I click on this, we are here now. In this data set, let me just show you how actually it's stored the data. So in this way, you just pause your mouse pointer here and you just need to click on this magnifies glass. And here you can see. Now we have the data in this format into this data set. Okay, so now we only need one thing to do is that just populate this data into that data grid view. So how to do that? Let me just stop this and remove this breakpoint and just remove this. How to populate data? So let me just check the data name. This data grid view name is data grid view one. So just go and type data grid view one dot data source. So we need to pass the data source from where the data is coming to this data grid view. So and equals from where we are putting the where actually our data is in the data set. So just type ts dot and in the data set we have tables so pass tables and in this table which table that is zero okay it's actually index and after that just put the colon and just save it and execute this equipment click on equipment and when you click on this view equipment it will show here you can see this now every data is in this proper format so that's it for the today's video. In next video, I am going to show you how to make this. Let me just show you. In next video, I am going to show you how to search for a particular member like this and how to actually load this data when this form open. So that's it for the today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed and please hit the bell icon. Thanks.